Smokers need not apply for any job at Bon Secours. The health system in Hampton Roads and Richmond will begin screening new applicants for nicotine at the end of the month. The policy has many people asking, is that legal? We sent 10 on your side, Stephanie Harris, to find out. Steph? Well, Nicole, I made lots of calls on this one. Spoke to an employment attorney, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, Bon Secours, of course, and tobacco giant Philip Morris. Here's what I learned. First, hospitals kick smokers to the curb. Now, Bon Secours won't even open the door to applicants who use nicotine. Stop smoking, and we'd be more than happy to review your application. Under the new policy, applicants must submit a urine sample for testing. If they fail, they can reapply in six months. On Facebook, even some non-smokers are fuming over this, asking, is it even legal? Well, it's legal because it's not illegal. We sat down with attorney Barry Rowell, who explained Virginia law prohibits the state from discriminating against smokers, but since Bon Secours is a private employer, the law does not apply. I'm sure it will be challenged. Bon Secours is the first health system in Virginia to enact the policy, but across the nation, it's a growing trend. Hospitals in eight other states have them, and it's been challenged at least once unsuccessfully. We've actually had some very positive reactions to people that said, I want to come work for Bon Secours. They're a great place to work, and this is the incentive for me to quit smoking. It's also a boost to their bottom line. The federal government estimates each smoker costs a company about $4,000 a year in lost productivity and health care. That's why Rao believes we will see more companies adopting similar policies. This policy is, is intrusive, but, you know, I guess employees need to make a decision on where they want to go to work. Now, I heard back from the EEOC and Philip Morris late this afternoon. The EEOC told me that smokers are not protected under the Americans with Disabilities Act. And a spokesman with Philip Morris said the tobacco company's position is very clear. They believe it is unfair to penalize applicants for use of a legal product. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side. Current employees of Bon Secours will not be nicotine tested. The company does encourage them to quit and offers incentives. We're told more than 300 have quit since that program began two years ago.